Welcome back guys. Hopefully up until now you have learned a great deal of stuff and all that stuff that you have learned you can apply to your web projects or mobile projects or your any of the programming projects. So without any further ado let's get right into this video. So in this video we are going to be learning how to create a screen where we can delete a task or delete all the tasks. So let's look at that block of code now. So we go in here. So I added the block of code for you. So that way we don't have to waste time me typing line by line, which if you haven't learned anything, you know how ridiculous that is and boring. Because what I want to do is I want to feed you the information or the grand scheme of thing, how to create your code or building your knowledge rather than me teaching you how to type or blah, blah. Anyway, let's move on. So when someone clicks on the delete button, it's going to trigger this. So let me bring this here. So if someone clicks right here, it's going to trigger this block of code on click. So the very first thing what we are going to do is we are going to create get the record ID, also the task name. If you don't know how to I got those two things. Click on the link below so you can watch all the previous videos that we have been working on so you can keep track of or know how to get the record ID and the task name. All right, so next thing what it's going to do is it's gonna throw up a dialogue box. It's gonna say, hey, are you sure you want to delete this particular task and this is you probably guessed it by now is part of the awesome function library and what i will do is i will give you an overview how this works this particular function which is bootstrap bs bootstrap confirm and this object it takes this object and within this object it you can add different stuff so first thing what you can do is you can add a text which could be anything you want which is like whatever you wanted to put it in here. And then in this case, I just say, hey, are you sure you want to delete task name? And then I'll put a bold uh, code in here and then whatever the task name that I grabbed it from based on the ID on the delete. And then the title is, it's like your H2 tag. It's gonna say confirmation require, or you can put this whatever. And if the person clicked on yes, then this block of code gets executed. However, if the person clicks on no or cancel, this block of text will get executed. In this case, I have nothing, it just closes it. And then the confirmation button, you can customize it to say, yes, I want to, or no, I don't want to, or whatever you want to put it here. And also the cancel button, you can label text name whatever you want to call it and also the confirmation button class you can have any of the bootstrap class names in here in this case danger no default is cancel and the dialog box whether it'll be a large one or regular small size one you could put that in here as well so if you want a regular one you just take this out if you want a large one you just leave that in here so let's pretend that if someone clicks on, yes, I want to delete it, so they confirmed it. So it's going to go in here, just like your SQL statement. When you, when you say select all where, or delete where, blah equal blah, delete that row. Same thing in here. So this will create an object called record ID, which is the field, and then the value that we grab from the ID when someone clicks on delete and then this is the function that it will delete that particular row it says hey delete it this is the local storage name and then it goes in a where equal blah and then after that it's going to go back to the view screen and show us all the available uh, screens that are all the available rows that are left so that's what that does so let's put this into perspective and then uh Go in here, refresh the screen, and then I'm gonna go here, let's say delete. And this 
comes up as we just looked at it. Confirmation required. Are you sure you want to delete task one? Yes or no. If I click no, it's going to go away. So this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on delete task two. And if I say yes, it's going to go and delete it right out of the local storage. So if I click on new and then click back on the task all, it's still going to show that. So this time what I'm going to do is just for the, say, for the hell of it, I'm going to create a task called three. And then blah, and I'll call this code with mark.com and then click on save. And you'll see it right here. It has task three, code with mark. So it's completely different. So the next thing, what we are going to look at is delete all of them. So let's look at that. So in other words, if I click right here, it's going to completely delete everything right here, delete all tasks. So when someone clicks on the delete all tasks, it was going to trigger this. And then first thing, what it's going to do is, it's going to get all the tasks within the local storage. And then it's gonna say, hey, does it have any rows? Because if it does not, this goes, hey, you need to add new task first. And then it's gonna show it in the screen container like we saw when we uh, we were working on the edit screen. Same, or view only, view all task screen, same concept applies. And just like when above where we said delete only one task, same concept will apply here as well, guys. So it's gonna, it's gonna use the bootstrap confirm, which is part of the awesome function library. It's gonna check to say, hey, are you, sh so rather than this time, it's gonna say, you wanna delete a task, it's gonna say, are you sure you want to delete all tasks, which is the text, the body of the text. And then the confirmation thing. And then this time, it's going to delete all by this function as compared to if you go back up uh, right here where it says LS stands for local storage and the delete array is only going to delete one row. However, if you use this function, it's going to delete everything within the table. As a matter of fact, it's going to delete the whole table. So it will not exist in your local storage. Sometimes you wanna do that, other times you may not want to do that, but I will let you decide whether or not if you wanna do that. There is another option which is called empty table as part of the awesome function library for the storage, which you can look at an option if you wanna use it for your web project. So definitely go to the awesome functions library, awesomefunctions.com and check out all the different options that are available for you, not only for just for local storage, but other uh, functions there are, that are there you can use for your web projects or your mobile web projects or whatever. So for sake of this particular training series, what we are going to do is we're gonna say we're gonna delete everything. And then same thing like before, you can change the confirmation button name, the classes, and so on and so forth. And then last but not least, what this particular block of code does is, it will go and check to see if there is anything in your local storage table when the page load. If something is there, then it's gonna load up the view screen. If there's nothing in there, then it's gonna do nothing. So for example, as previously when we reloaded the screen, we got nothing in here. We had to click on view task to load this particular screen. So let's refresh it now. I don't know if you saw that, but I clicked on refresh. So it blinked for a second. So it went into a local library as the page loaded, local storage rather, I don't know why I'm saying library, but local storage. It grabbed all these two records and then it showed it. All right, so this will conclude our 
training series for local storage. Hopefully you picked up a, a lot of tips and tricks that you can include in your projects. And if you want to download the source code, you can click on the link below to download it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Well, actually, before I do that, I want to click on this one to make sure this works. And then it's going to say, yes, I want to delete it all. And then now it says, oops, there's nothing in there because there's nothing there. So if I click on here, nothing there. And then if I refresh it, nothing will come up. And now we are officially done. All right, guys, until next time, keep coding.